news on prince mila entertainment tv today is the 22nd of our september 2022 remember guys to like share comment and follow and i turn on the notification bell so that won't miss any of our new uploads that you do upload and guys, so guys uh here's good news it's good news um zimbabwe has been invited to attend the uh us africa leader summit scheduled for uh, 13 to 15 december the invitation, however, went to Foreign Affairs and International Trade Minister Frederick Shaw as President Nangagwa remains under U.S. sanctions. Only governments that don't have diplomatic relations with the U.S., Eritrea, Western Sahara, or have been suspended by the African Union, Burkina Faso, Guinea, Mali, and Sudan were not invited to the summit. Dana Banks, the White House point person for the summit, told the Africa report that there are some African countries that have challenges on democracy and governance. Livid Mugejo, the spokesperson for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and International Trade, said, We are in continuous re engagement with the US and any other Western country. Hence, the invitation for the minister to attend the US Africa summit provides another opportunity for the government to continue with its re engagement efforts. Jim Risk of Idaho, who is the top Republican on the Senate Foreign Affairs uh, Committee, on 15 September said the U.S. should look for someone who has a less abysmal human rights, corruption and democracy record than the foreign minister. Last week, the U.S. Treasury Department lifted sanctions on 11 Zimbabwean officials while adding Deputy Police Commissioner for Administration Stephen Mutamba to the list. Mutamba is accused of undermining Zimbabwe's democratic process and institutions. And so, uh, last year, Pakabuda listed Zimbabwe and Gezipo, and uh, but uh, I think with Aramaposa visiting the US recently, made them, uh, you know, change their minds regarding to Zimbabwe. And uh, but my sections are uh, there's two there, which means that uh, Ambassador Shawa will have to use this opportunity. Yes. Uh, to say their story when it comes to the mass sanctions because we've heard uh, that word since Mkabe time sanctions, 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 sanctions until today strong ones when the mass sanctions and uh, so we're gonna keep you in the loop here on our daily news breaking news everyday news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV remember guys to like share comment and follow we just hope that uh this is a step uh in the right direction when it comes to the mass sanctions uh against Zimbabwe uh you know we want them to be removed to us or not uh are these sanctions uh holding us back can out but it's when you could do because people on social media have been debating a lot regarding to the current uh, situation in zimbabwe on a city mass sanctions on a city corruption on a city but they don't respect my human rights they don't respect the rule of law and uh, so Got it all in the comment section. This is uh, daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Remember, guys, to like, share, comment, and follow. Bless up.